Hi there everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm an educator and biologist with the Great Lakes Program at the Toronto Zoo. For 20 years, the Great Lakes Program has conducted outreach and research in the Great Lakes region with the simple idea of keeping the Great Lakes great. Every year, our outreach technicians travel across the province talking to students and members of the public about the Great Lakes, about their importance and about the actions, big and small, that we can take to better protect this resource and habitat. Perhaps most importantly, we introduce people to the aquatic species at risk that live in their own backyards. As an educator, I've spoken to thousands of people over the years and something that crops up time and time again is this idea that in our busy urban lives, we are disconnected from wildlife. Well, that simply isn't the case. The Great Lakes region is home to some 3,500 different species of plant and animal. This local wildlife lives in our cities, our neighborhoods, oftentimes in our own backyard. So whether it's with a squirrel, a chipmunk, a raccoon, even a coyote, whether you live rurally or in a big city, I guarantee you, we all have a wildlife story. In this series, we'll be focusing on local species that live in aquatic ecosystems. The Great Lakes system contains some six quadrillion gallons of fresh water. That's 15 zeros. And is host to a wide variety of habitats. Everything from sandy dunes, to deep, cold lakes, to wetlands, to urban streams. These habitats are home to a wide variety of species, many of which are in decline due to human activities. Over the course of this series, we'll be introducing you to three of those aquatic species at risk. The American eel, the lake sturgeon, and the wavy rayed lamp mussel. Each of these species is part of the incredible diversity of the Great Lakes region and unique in its own right. We'll be taking a closer look at their physiology, their natural history, some of the challenges that they're facing, and perhaps most importantly, the things that we can do to better protect them.